The idea behind Zapier is simple. A zap is made up of two parts, a trigger and an action. A zap can only have one trigger that starts it. Think of a trigger as telling the zap when to begin doing something. We all have everyday tasks we need to do, like checking email or responding to feedback. Whatever that recurring task is, you can have Zapier remind you with our schedule app. An action is a task that a zap performs after it's triggered. So while the trigger tells a zap when to do something, the action is what the zap actually does. And a zap can have as many actions as you need. If you're like me, you spend most of your day in Slack, so that's where you want the reminder to go. These two pieces create a zap, which are workflows that connect your apps and perform those repetitive and routine work. That's just one way Zapier can do work for you. There are a lot of other workflows, we call them zaps, that can save you time.